While a robot gets citizenship to two countries, the robot revolution is already here. Welcome to the Shikama Live Show with your host, Shikama. Switzerland pays its citizens to go on baby-making holidays. They want to repopulate their country and encourage a feminized society to go have babies. With a very feminized millennial population who don't get married, or worse, don't have kids, they have to beg them to have kids to replenish their own population. They are so desperate that they pay for each kid and pay for a vacation if you promise to make babies. Last year, Saudi Arabia granted citizenship to a robot. And while the news world is, is struck by the fake robot pretending to be the highest in artificial intelligence, the robot revolution has already started. Meet Japan a country mired in negative population growth like Switzerland. The robot revolution is already underway. The male millennial population there has video games, Japanese cartoons called anime, and now robots to take their mind off life and girls. But like Switzerland, feminization is rampant. When questioned, most male millennial Japanese say Japanese women have their own money, and would prefer working and not have a relationship. Japanese women have host clubs to go to for their male interaction, where they can spend their hard-earned cash like drunken sailors. Or, if they want more adult interaction, there are other clubs they can go to, or simply order a man for home service. While Japanese women complain that it is the men that love them, Japanese male millennials say the women are fully westernized and don't want men. They are feminized Japanese women. In this environment, the robot revolution is kicked into overdrive. They advertise right on Prime TV. Get a fully functioning robot wife, and there's no way to slice it. It's cheaper by leaps and bounds. Even when you really start shopping for a robot wife and end up at the $345,000 price tag or the supermodel robot wife, it's still cheaper than any woman, or worse, any wife. As first world populations became more feminized, and wealth is literally handed over to women, cutting out a woman from taking your rights and money, fully functioning robot wives become far more attractive alternatives to wives. In a population that grows up around robots or inanimate objects that you talk to, the children welcome robot wives quite willingly. One man, whose wife cheating on him several times, and divorce isn't an option, owns several robot wives. His favorite robot wife, though, watches evening TV with him and the kids. The kids even ask where she is when she's not at the dinner table. As for his real wife, he told her she accept the robot wife or suffer a divorce. She readily accepted the robot wives. Young men are easily getting into robot wives. The transition from cell phone to robot wife is as easy as as accepting ice from water, especially on a hot day. So busy women who take your money, take your kids, and treat you like trash shouldn't be surprised when robot wives take their place. These days, women can buy their own houses. What's surprising is that women aren't up to having a robot companion. Although they pretend they don't need men, The technology and market need for a robot husband is next to none. Let's couple that with feminist activities, activists actively seeking to outlaw robot wives in the Western world. They say it's sexist and objectifies women to have a fully functioning robot wife, although no actual women are involved and everything is privately purchased. But right now, feminists yelling to ban fully functioning robot wives Sound like the candle makers when the light bulb were invented. Your day is over. You fought to destroy your own place in society, and when everything was given to you, you still wanted more. And you saw the men who rejected you and your entire game. You want men to stay in their place, the one that you carved out for them. You rush to put the puzzle pieces back together. Don't be surprised when robot wives show up in Los Angeles. Oh. P.S. Now fully functioning robot wives are truly fully functioning. They have come out with 
complete artificial man only means of procreation. Uh, women were quick to try and uh, make an alternative to that with a female only means of procreation. But uh, to my knowledge, that is only talk. I've actually seen the studies, I've seen the lab work for the male only procreation. I have not seen any lab work for female only procreation. Also, there is a robot, how do I say this? Baby incubator. Is that the correct way to say that? So that truly impregnation and bearing the child is no longer necessary to have a woman at all. The robot revolution is here, and I believe it is here to stay. No amount of trying to ban things uh, will, will be available. And while granting citizenship to a robot seems like a... Uh, ushering in the future, it's nothing more than a ploy. Robots aren't people. They're not going to be this widespread robot rights or robot granting of citizenship by other countries because other countries aren't so silly. The robots that you see on TV are not the height of artificial intelligence or engineering. In fact, they're more, they're more like the Model T when we already have Lamborghinis running around. Just remember, if you can afford $345,000, you can have yourself a state-of-the-art, best technology robot wife. Thank you for watching. Leave a like on the video.